everybody i'm sheila welcome to my channel and today i'm gonna do a um eye makeup tutorial or whatnot but basically i brought in everything as you can tell i haven't done my entire face so i'm just gonna tell you what i'm gonna do and then i can um just kind of like not even put that in the video until I get to the eyes. Um, what I'm going to be using mainly, but I do have two uh, palettes actually. I'm going to use this palette here. I had hauled on this channel. This is for all of my um, beauty uh, lovers that's on this channel like I am that, that's into beauty. I decided to do a tutorial today for this video and I'm gonna use um, this palette here um, this is the angels in Abergene I think that's the way you pronounce it I'm gonna use this palette here and I'm also gonna use um, a palette that my daughter um, made for me and purchased for me this is by BH cosmetics they are just single eyeshadows so I probably uh, mix um, a few colors, take a few colors out of this palette that my daughter uh, created for me and also use this palette, okay? All right, so just to let you know. So the first thing I do is I moisturize my skin and I'm going to moisturize my skin with the L'Oreal Age Perfect Hydra Nutrition Glow Renewal Facial Oil. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the CoverGirl um, Professional Natural Lash Clear Mascara. Apply this to my brows. All right, I did arch my brows a little bit on the end and trimmed them a little bit. Um, so if you're wondering, like, where's the thick brows? I trimmed them just a little bit, but hey, I got her up there, okay? All right, so the next thing, while that is drying, what I'm going to do is an Olay Simply Ageless Serum primer it just puts a lot of moisture on my skin and I need it today because I did do a face um, routine or skincare night nighttime routine and my face is a bit dry this morning so I'm going to use this just to put some moisture back onto my face because I have dry skin looks like that before I start with the foundation I am going to use this uh, skin lab eye gel that I had hauled um, I don't know if I'm gonna like this but I'm gonna apply this to my under eye and it looks like a gel formula it is gel So now what I'm going to do is something that I used to never do and that's apply my foundation first but I find that it kind of helps me out to be just a little bit quicker believe it or not. I know I'm not a fast person when it comes down to putting on makeup but it, it helps. I noticed the difference. I'm going to use my two uh, beauty blenders. I got this beauty blender that looks like this at Walmart and I love it you guys. You just use the side of it to blend the foundation and then the tip of it you can use for concealer. But however I'm going to use this for concealer because I'm going to highlight as well on my face today. So okay now that that uh, other eye cream has you know dried up and that eye cream is just for um it helps with uh, 
hydration, you know, put hydration. And I'm going to go ahead and use the ELF um, Hydrating Under Eye Primer as well. I'm going to do a review. I'm ready to do a review on this product. So, yeah, I'm getting ready to do a review on this product. So, very, very soon. I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my under eye area. Even though I'm going to put my foundation on. I'm going to try it this way. I've been trying it another way. And I'm going to try it this way. Okay. And just like that. Don't take much of that product. Alright. So by the time I mix the two foundations together. That should be dry. Um, I'm going to mix two foundations. I'm going to use, I'm trying to use this because I didn't want to get rid of it, but um, I need to use it. This is the Becca Radiant Skin Satin Finish Foundation in the Shea Buttercup. It's a little bit too light for my skin and uh, it's real yellow, but it's just too light. So I'm going to mix it with the Fit Me, the Maybelline Fit Me in the number 240 foundation and that is Golden Beige. Okay, I'm going to mix the two together. Alright, so I'm going to use this beauty blender here that I got from Walmart. I've been loving this beauty blender. It just blends so great. All right, before I use the rest of my foundation, I love to use the Essence I Love Stage um, Eyeshadow Base. Um, it just helps with discoloration, so I like to put that on my lids and then put on the foundation. I find that it helps with my discolorated eyelids, okay? All right, so I'm just going to apply this to my eyelids. Okay, so now grabbing the foundation, I'm going to finish applying the foundation on my eyelids. Come Correct Celebrity Concealer by Fergie. This is in the shade Medium Golden. Yeah, medium golden. Okay, I'm going to apply a little bit on my eyelids just to brighten them up a little bit. Um, to prep them for the eyeshadow that I'm going to use. It only takes just a little bit of this because it's just, it's just like the, it reminds me of that MAC Pro Long Wear um, Concealer. Um, but the one by Maybelline is closer to it, but this one is not too far behind. So, it's very brightening. And right now I'm just going to do my eyelids and then I'm going to put this on my um, under eye on top of another concealer. You're probably saying, all those products... It's just the way I just like it like that, you know. Now, my eyelids is much brighter, okay. I like that. Alright, now we're ready for 
I shall use my L'Oreal Paris Brow Stylist Plumper in light to medium. Love this stuff with my brows. It's a favorite. It's my favorite, favorite product right now at the moment. Love, love, love it. Can't get enough of this product. It has changed my brow routine for the better. This is okay. There's the brows. Where is my container? Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. Let's get into the eyeshadows. Let's get started. Um, so what I'm going to do is, mainly, is I'm going to use this new palette. I haven't even opened it up. It's by Wet n Wild Limited Edition Angels in Aberdeen. Um, so let's try this one out. This is how it looks. Just like that. Alright. So the very first thing I'm going to use. Or the very first color I'm going to use. Is actually more of a calm color. Or a color that's very more um, on the natural side. So I'm going to actually use this uh, Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. Love this palette, you guys. If you don't know about this palette, I'm sure you do. You have three highlighting shades and you have three bronzing shades, okay? Love this uh, palette. But I'm going to use this shade right here in the middle. It's called Shadow Play. going to use that one. And that will be the color I'm going to start out with, okay? I'm going to start out with that shadow. And apply it right here. and put a highlighting color there and I'm not going to use the highlighting color in this palette however I want to but I'm going to grab the BH Cosmetics uh, palette that my daughter got for me and I'm going to use this shade right here um, I don't know the name of the shade or the color number because my daughter <laughs> this palette was just a little bit too big and we just glued it super glued the shadows in here but it works you guys I just couldn't tell you the number so I'm going to grab this um, shade and I'm just going to go ahead and do the highlighting part of my eye which, which is right here just to highlight a little bit so now I'm going to take the Wet n Wild palette and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, apply, let's see, no I don't want to put that in there, just trying to make up my mind what I want. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm going to apply this definer color, which is the burgundy color, burgundy brown color, into my crease, okay? And with that, I'm going to grab um, my Sigma E40 brush, and I'm just going to apply that right here.
Okay, just like that. All right, so next shade I'm going to use is the, uh, actually the brow bone color. I'm going to use this light pink or hot pink shade. We'll see what it looks like once I put it on. All right, put this on my lid. Hold on for a minute. My mirror is crazy right now. Now, much better. I can see better. Because it's cloudy today and it's just harder to see point blank. That right there, I'm going to go back in with the um, definer cooler here. I'm going to put it on just a little bit more bolder. Just like that. Now I'm going to take that blending brush and use that shadow play color from the Kat Von D palette. And I'm just going to kind of smooth out these rough edges a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do now is going to take this um, crease color here, this one right here, and yes, I'm going to kind of blend the crease color and the um, shadow play color all into one, kind of, like just blending colors together. All right, I'm going to use this uh, definer brush and see if I can get what I'm looking, get what I want in, in a sense as far as the look. Um, Kind of turned out purple with all the colors just mixed up. Take that pink shade. Okay, that looks better to me. Now I'm going to take my finger and add that pink color back on my lid. I find that sometimes using your finger is better on the lid.
I'm gonna blend one more time up in here. Just a little bit. little different okay because pinks is something that i normally do not wear as far as eyeshadows okay <laughs> just letting you know all right from the bh cosmetics i'm gonna use um this champagne pink color right here and i'm gonna dab this like right onto the center port of my eye um Just like that. Oh, I like that a little bit better than just the hot pink. Maybe some of you might like it the other way, but I kind of like it like this, okay? That's just the way I like it, okay? I'm going to use the um, ELF um, Eye Primer and Liner Sealer, but I'm going to use the primer to put on my lower lash line. Right. And I'm going to take this uh, out of this palette here. I'm going to take the, um, let's see. I'm actually going to use two shades. I'm going to use this eyelid color here, this black, and then I'm going to use a pencil. I think I'll use the pencil first. This pencil from Boutique uh, Glitter. It's a Boutique Glitter Crayon. You can get it at Sally's Beauty Supplies, like this pink. And I'm going to apply this. Use my little mirror. Like from the inner corner. almost halfway of the lash line but not all the way then what I'm gonna do is apply this um, this eyelid color here just like on the outer edges of my eye Now, and it looks like it's going to go down, but once I put on my liner, it's going to be fine. And I'm going to go ahead and put on the liner right now. This is the um, Wet n Wild On Edge Long Wearing Eye Pencil by Fergie. I'm going to apply this to my lower lash line. Actually, I was going to use, no, 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 no. I'm going to apply this to my upper lash line up here. Just like that. Now I'm going to take my something new. It's the L'Oreal. What is this? The L'Oreal Infallible Liqueur Liner 
in the shade Blackest Black 171. Now I'm going to line my eyes. Just a gel liner. Okay. Line my top lash line. Okay, I love this. This is a new product that I just purchased. The L'Oreal Infallible, um, what is it? LaCour Liner 24 Hour uh, 171 Black is Black. I love this liner. I love it. I mean, there's, I can't say nothing more. All I know is I love it. Um, it's really matte and it's even easy to do a wing liner. Um, I know the Physician Formula has been helping me to line my eyes, but uh, this also glides and it's really matte. I like the fact that it's matte. And so, yeah. So the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that pink liner and you can see it just a little bit in the inner corner, but not as much as I would like to see it. So I'm just gonna put this liner down. I could have brought out my ring light, but I just felt like, you know what, if I, the ring light sometimes washes me out and I don't, you know, really like it unless I just have to use it. So, yeah, I, it's not my favorite thing to use, to be honest with you. Um, but, you know, I understand that sometimes we have to use stuff just to get some light. But if I can try to get done kind of quick like maybe I can you know maybe everything can be seen you know uh however with me going fast it's almost impossible all right <laughs> all right here is the uh wet and wild max volume mascara plus by Fergie I love this um I'm eventually gonna do a review on this product as well. It's a few things I would like to do uh, reviews on. I just haven't got to it yet. Um, but I will eventually. But I'm gonna apply this to my lashes. Okay, now I'm going to top this mascara. Well, I'm going to add another mascara, which is the Femme Couture Fake Lash Instant Volume, just to separate my lashes just a little bit. Because um, this, uh, the other one can clump up a little bit, but I love it. I love the way it clump. Actually just creates more volume. So I just use this on the top of my lashes. It's 
go across the top of it once or twice. I'm going to use the uh, Femme Couture Get Corrected CC Concealer. All right. Um, you can get this at Sally Beauty Supply. So I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes here. I love this concealer. I also put this all over my face as an extra. And it really covers you guys. It is awesome. All right, apply that. I'm getting the corners up there where apply that. And then what I'm gonna apply next is the Secret Service Cover Up by Flower Beauty in the shade CU4. I'm gonna put this on top of it. Yes, I am just a little bit so to be able to blend easily. I love this concealer as well. This is a new product. I have uh, another shade, but this one is new and this one matches my skin tone. So this is the Flower Beauty Secret Service Cover Up in the shade CU4. You can get this at Walmart, it's Flower Beauty. All right, and then right on top of that, yes, you guys, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Come Correct Celebrity Concealer by Fergie just to brighten. And I'm just going to put two little small, like, lines because it doesn't take much of this. That's just how brightening it is. It's wonderful concealer. Now I'm going to take this beauty blender here, okay? And I'm going to blend this in or blend the concealer. It's almost dry. But sometimes I like it a little dry that way. Stay put. It doesn't go anywhere. Huh? See. All right, those are some great pencils. I only got them for like 99 cents and I want to go back because they sell these at Sally's Beauty Supply and I love them. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye concealer. This is something that I really don't have to do because I feel like it Sometimes when I set my concealer, my line here and over here just kind of just sticks out. Um, but I feel like if I don't set it, it'll crease. So I'm just going to apply this orange shade from the uh, Kat Von D Light and Shade or Shade and Light um, Contour Palette. I'm going to use this orange shade. I'm just going to just dab it underneath my eyes not nothing too much just a little bit maybe I'm putting too much of it just like that all right just like that and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, apply my face powder. Then we can get to blush and bronzer and lipstick and we will be done, okay? All right. Let me just get some of the stuff that I've used out of the way because, yeah, I just need to get it out of the way. Um, the next thing I want to do is basically to I was going to highlight my face and I still can do that and I think I will. I'm going to use the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer in Light. I'm going to highlight my face. This looks so good. I love this concealer just as a regular concealer but I tried this as a highlighter and it works but it is a number 10 so it's very light 
on my complexion and I just highlight these areas right here except for my under eye and I've already done that so I'm going to use this beauty blender because it's more damp and I used it the last time so I'm going to just blend that in to highlight okay these areas of my face You can tell it has high, as you can tell it has highlighted the area now what I do is I take my powder and I'm gonna use the Sasha cosmetics a palette it's a powder palette I'm gonna use the pure beige color here and I'm going to set my face I'm gonna use the echo tools um you know domed bronzer brush but I can I use it for pressed powder just gonna set my face my foundation now what I do is I um, grab, now it's time for bronzer, okay? Um, I'm going to use, of course, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm um, going to use this shade right here, Shadow Play, and I'm going to use it all over just to bronze with. And I use this brush right here, okay? Gonna bronze up my face real quickly. And you don't have to do this, but a lot of times I love it. I just cannot when I do not do it. I feel like I miss doing something to my face. So that's just how much I love to bronze my face up a little bit. Okay. Then I'm going to take my powder brush and just go over the edges where I might have gotten some bronzer on my jawline. All right, now it's time for, I'm going to contour my nose real quick, you guys. I found a quicker way. I'm just going to use the ELF Flawless Concealer Brush by itself. And I'm going to use this shade right here, Levitation, right there. I'm going to use it, and I'm just going to highlight right there where I have highlighted already. So I don't need a whole lot of that powder. And then I'm going to use the same shade. No, I'm not. I'm going to use the lighter um, bronzer, the lighter bronzer shade, which is subconscious. I'm going to use it and contour my nose. All right. lashes with the uh, Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara Plus.
Okay. So now blush time. Okay, I'm gonna use this uh, blush palette that I had got from eBay or Amazon, I don't remember. And the color that I'm gonna use is actually this one, okay? I'm gonna use this blush right here. It's very pretty. Um, so I'm gonna use that blush right there. more of a natural blush with a little highlight as you can see it's a highlighted blush but I like it a lot all right so I've used that now the only other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take let's see this brush right here and I'm just going to kind of clean up underneath my um, bronzer and blush um, area just a little bit. So, yeah, that is it for that. I don't think I need any more bronzer, but I'll tap on just a little bit. All right, so now it's time for lipstick, okay? I'm going to use the... Uh, MAC lipstick in the shade Peach Beige. It's an amplified. It was from a collection. I'm going to use it. It's very nude. And I'm going to use this uh, ELF Lip Definer and Shaper. Uh, I'm going to use the shape uh, part of it, which is very light. And uh, then fill it in. Now I'm going to take the MAC lipstick. It's very light, like nude, okay? Okay, that's how light of a nude it is. Once again, this is a MAC lipstick. It's the Amplified Peach Beige. It was from a collection. I think it's, um, I can't remember, Pedro. Um, can't remember the last name, but it was from a collection. I got this one because I love new lipsticks. So, yeah, this one is like that concealer a nude lipstick. But I like it, okay? That is it. This is the look. Um, one other thing, I do have a highlighting or an illuminating powder from Femme Couture. It's the mint, it's the mineral effects powder. I'm just gonna like dab just a little bit of this across the highlighted areas of my face. Um, just because I like to do that, I think it's pretty and it don't hurt to do it. So why not? Um, so I'm gonna grab this uh, brush and I'm just going to, cause it says it's an illuminating powder. It's a, a mineral powder. So haven't used this in a while. So I decided why not try it again, you know, give it a try.
used to use this underneath my eyes to eliminate my under eye area and uh, yeah I don't feel like I need it underneath the eyes but um, I just like everything the way it is just like this okay so that's all I'm going to do to my face today. This is the look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. Um, I just love it. Um, it's like pink and purples. And I didn't do too much as of highlight underneath my brows because I felt like, you know, I don't want nothing too much. This is more wearable. This is something that I could still pull off during the week, even though it is very smoky. But this I could pull off. I can wear it. And I love the blush, it being highlighted on its own. I didn't have to add any extra highlighting powders or anything. I am going to spray my face because I am now done. And I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro spray makeup setting uh extender spray i always use that can't deal without it okay now a couple of more things that i skipped which is my hair looks okay but just kind of go across it a few times All right, so I hope you enjoy this look once again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, I will have another video, but most likely the video will be like a chat and relax video because I normally like to do something that's beauty related and this is beauty related for all of my beauty related um, subscribers or subscribers that's into beauty um, things as I am. Um, so, uh, that's for you all. This video is for you all. And then next time I will do a chat and relax video for all the ones that enjoy like chat and relax videos. Like I just sit here and talk and there's no beauty. Um, well, there will not be like tutorials or a haul or anything like that. I just chat with you. So yeah, I try to please, um, my subscribers to the best of my ability so yeah i hope you enjoy this video and you all have a wonderful day and remember you are beautiful and stay beautiful okay Mwah. bye 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 <laughs>